In this video, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process you need to follow to onboard your clients with just one click, whether you're an agency owner or a coach or consultant. My name is Katie Bunny and I scale businesses to multiple six and seven figures per month by streamlining their operations and infrastructure. So in this video, I'm going to show you the one-click client onboarding and what it looks like. Maybe you have multiple clients per week or per day or per month. This process works in every single case. So let's get started with this. The first thing you need to do is have a form. This is a sales report form. And what you want to do here is collect data regarding this client that you're just about to onboard. So you have here the closing date, the closer, the client full name and email address, their enrollment date and the program. You can see here is program one, two and three. You put your service or offer. And then you share the client expectations, your closing angle, and where this client found out about you and the payment plans. So from here, what you're doing is you are using this form as a trigger to automate the next steps. What are the next steps? Well, creating a client folder, you need to have a folder for every single client. So that's where you are organizing all the files or the documents and sheets that you may have with these clients. The next thing you want to do is create a consulting log. So the consulting log, it's a document that you're going to use for ongoing communication with this client. You're going to have over there, the call notes, their onboarding notes, and also any strategic planning that you're doing with this client. The next thing you're going to do is send them a document through PandaDoc, which is basically the agreement. And then you're going to send also a Slack or Discord notification to inform your team. So maybe you have a team or maybe you don't. This step is optional, but I would say it's best to have a Slack or Discord server to manage communication within your team, because as you're growing, you will need to have some team members that need to be updated about this client onboarding being successful or not. The next thing you're going to have is a place to track all your clients. So let me quickly show you what that looks like over here on the client tracking sheet that I have created, and you can access in the link in the description. What we have is a list of all our clients and this data here, it's all coming automatically in the gray zone right here. And what happens is also the offboarding is being tracked automatically. And all you have to do is manage your clients here with the different statuses. So we went through the process of creating the client folder. We went through the process of creating the client in the client's list. We went through the process of having a consulting log for a client. And the next thing we need to do is also send an email to our client. So this is what also the onboarding automation is taking care of because it sends an email to the client, welcoming them and asking them to book their onboarding call. So in practice, all of it looks like this. You have the sales report form, you have a deal, you have a client in the CRM, you have a contract being sent, your client receives an email. The next thing is you have their client folder and consulting log, and then a private group can be created. So. For example, if you're communicating with your clients on Slack, you can automate that. It's a bit more advanced. So I would say now it's best if you're doing it manually, if you don't have someone to create it for you, or you're not very tech savvy because the rest it's very easy to automate, but this one is a bit more complicated. So I would say you can do this manually and then sending a welcome message in that chat in 24 hours, automatically, you're going to send a check-in message and also schedule your onboarding call. So this is the process I follow to onboard clients for my own clients. And it has worked greatly because it doesn't matter how many clients you're onboarding per day or per month, this works and it automates all these little tasks. And you may say that it takes just a few minutes to complete it, but in reality, it takes time for you to go back and make sure that you're doing everything right. So this is the one click client onboarding. If you want to access it, we have actually the whole pack called one click client onboarding install pack here within school, where you have the step-by-step -step videos on how to implement it for yourself. You have access to all these assets that I just showed you here on the video, as well as the setup of the automation. So on your end, you don't really need to have experience creating the one click client onboarding. All you have to do is just follow through with the process that I'm showing you. And I'm sure that your clients are going to be wowed and they're going to love working with you. They're going to trust you and they're going to see that you're actually organized and very professional with your service. I hope you like this video. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment right below. And if you're looking to access the one click client install pack, check out the link in the description. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next videos.